All right, GM, GM, everyone. Uh, Mark calling in from beautiful Denver. Um, I am going to flip on my video just to say, hey, but uh, it's saving bandwidth in a second. So for our project this um, during Launchpad, me, Moisa, Oren, um, you know, for the Filecoin Green team decided to work or make some progress on our work related to renewable energy certificates or RECs. But of course, Filecoin Green is on a mission to build the tools to measure the environmental impacts of Filecoin to verifiably drive them below zero. And along the way, we're building infrastructure that can be leveraged by anyone to make more transparent and substantive uh, environmental claims about their own operations. And the ways in which we're doing that is really in accordance with these four steps. We've already built a really robust energy consumption model on that allows anybody to evaluate the energy use of the network. Uh, if you go to filecoin.energy, you can see that, play around with the charts. There's also a pretty awesome API that you can use. And uh, then secondly, we are using that energy consumption profile and connecting it to renewable energy resources uh, around the world. And the primary market instrument that we are uh, using to connect the energy consumption of the network to renewable energy resources are called renewable energy certificates or RECs. And if you were on the ecosystem call this morning, you may have heard Alan talk a little bit about this. It is just a brief overview of RECs and the you know the role that they serve. Obviously, with um, very interconnected grids of various assets, power generation assets, you never really know what the flow of electrons are coming into your house or your commercial operation. Um, but RECs are a convenient way in which you can help fund the development and the ongoing maintenance of renewable energy assets and can claim these certificates to showcase um, that um, you are sourcing all of your energy consumption needs from renewable energy sources. Now, that's an awesome thing. However, as we started diving into this and matching the energy consumption of the network to RECs uh, around the world, we quickly realized that RECs from different markets, regions, or even different brokers uh, all had various different types of, of data formats and had different uh, data points related to them. So we decided to try to solve that or at least make some meaningful progress on that. And what we did, of course, is is uh, we designed this reusable um, DAG structure and created a scraper to collect all this independent and desperate information from existing attestation documents as well as their related metadata from all these independent Web2 sources. Um, and we made that data available on IPFS for future on-chain use. And we also created the simple previewer of these attestation documents um, and that metadata related to the RECs. So in that top right screenshot, you can see just a snapshot of the explorer of the DAG structures. And then on the bottom right, you can see uh, that previewer showcasing all the independent certificates and their attestation documents themselves. And really what this enables or what this you know, uniform data structure will allow us to do is streamline the purchase, the exchange and the retirement of these renewable energy certificates from various brokers and from various markets around the world for our own use and for other people outside of the Filecoin ecosystem. Um, so we think that's you know pretty measurable impact in just a short amount of time that we've had here and we're looking forward to continue to develop it. And right there are just four succinct you know, uh, bullet points uh, of our future work. So we need to do a lot of cross-checking of this data against various Web2 sources. Um, link there are two independent repos that we're utilizing. Um, to aggregate this information. Uh, we need to make some improvements on the previewer, uh, lazy loading and uh, document filtering being the primary two. And then for the um, previewer itself, uh, we need some direct links to specific attestation documents. And at the bottom, of course, is the link directly to that. So go check it out, play it around, give us some feedback. And of course, come hang out with us in the Phil Green Slack channel if you got any questions or just wanna hang out.